Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we are taking a look at the upcoming bug off contest, going over everything we know with some tips and tricks thrown in and wrapping up by going over all the bug off prizes available after a spoiler break. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So by now I'm sure everyone playing New Horizons knows who Flick is. He is of course the fierce looking chameleon who hosts the bug off contests. Just like many other special characters you may have already stumbled across him randomly wandering around your island taking art commissions and buying bugs. And currently this is the only way to encounter him as both the northern hemisphere and southern hemispheres are yet to host a bug off unless of course you've time travelled. Now Flick has of course replaced Nat the original bug off host seen in all previous iterations of Animal Crossing so even if you're yet to meet him you will see him when he stops by to host the first Animal Crossing New Horizons bug off later this week. In New Leaf bug offs were generally held on the third Saturday of the month however they take place on the fourth Saturday in New Horizons making the first ever bug off Saturday the 27th in just a few days time. Unfortunately just like the fish and tawnies the bug offs are seasonal and this date is for players in the northern hemisphere, those of you in the southern hemisphere will have to wait until November before Flick visits. Now much like the changes seen between the old style fish and tawnies and CJ's fish and tawny in New Horizons, instead of longer more relaxed bug offs seen in the past, Flick's contest is now a fast paced time trial challenge. In short Flick gives us 3 minutes to catch as many bugs as possible before returning to him to find out how well we did. The good news is Flick is around all day, I think from 9am to 6pm and despite the challenge only lasting 3 minutes we can take part multiple times throughout the day. The first time we take part is free but does cost a further 500 bells every time we enter after that. So it's not really as stressful as it sounds because you can do bug offs all day if you really wanted to. So the aim of the bug off is to catch as many bugs as possible and basically yield the highest score you can. Each bug is worth one point but we get two bonus points for every bug caught after the first two bugs. So one bug earns one point, two bugs earns two points but then three bugs earns five points, four bugs earns six points and so on. So the more bugs we catch the better our score will be. Now the scores are important because they act like a currency and can be exchanged with Flick for limited time bug themed items which we'll get into after the spoiler break towards the end of the video. Again unlike previous versions of the bug off contests only bugs caught during the time limit count towards our scores so any bugs you have saved up can't be submitted. Anyway to start the bug off we simply have to speak with Flick at the resident services where he will be located with his pop up tent. He will explain everything and then you can jump straight into the first contest. After speaking with him you have a few seconds to pull out your trusty net and start running to look for bugs before the timer begins. Don't worry though there are a few more tips that may help you. Number 1 Nets it's recommended to either craft or buy a bunch of nets before the contest starts on Saturday. As I'm sure you know nets have a set durability and break after so many uses and you really don't want to keep being interrupted by having to repeatedly get a new net on the day. Furthermore you don't want to be without a net during the contest so carrying a bunch of them means you'll avoid beginning a contest without one. Just buy loads and either carry them or drop them by the plaza. Number 2 Tool Ring It's a pretty obvious one but you may want to assign all your nets to your tool ring so they're easily accessible during the bug off. Using the tool ring to select a net at the very start of the timer is much quicker than opening your menu and those few seconds could be vital in catching the last bug and could be the difference between scoring in double figures. Number 3 Landscaping Generally speaking it's recommended to plant a bunch of trees and patches of flowers near the resident services so you don't have too far to travel before encountering bugs. After all we only have 3 minutes. However now that most players have fully developed islands everyone's bug off experiences are going to be totally different and I can't imagine many people wanting to do this. Just bear in mind if you don't have many trees or flowers or even ponds nearby it may be more difficult to catch bugs during the challenge and achieve a high score. 
And that's pretty much it for the tips really. There isn't a fish bait alternative for attracting bugs unfortunately, despite Pocket Camp making use of honey, but maybe that will be something that's added in the future. It's also worth mentioning we don't have to worry about pocket space as all bugs caught during the contest are magically teleported to Flick's cage at the 10, which is super handy. Now we can take part in the contest pretty much all day until 6 p.m. at which point the contest closes. However, Flick will hang around for a couple of hours more into the evening and we're free to sell him any bugs we've caught or have got stored away for 1.5 times the value we'd normally get. So if you have a bunch of tarantulas saved up and you've still not met Flick, you'll be able to sell them to him afterwards. Anyway, the bug off is a contest after all, so Flick will reward us with a trophy based on the collective points we've earned throughout the day and we'll send the corresponding trophy out in the mail the next day. If we earn 100 points, we will receive the bronze trophy, 200 points will get the silver trophy and 300 or more will earn us the gold trophy. Now it doesn't sound difficult, but if you want to earn the gold trophy, for example, we need to earn over 300 points. And if we catch at least five bugs per round, which I think is going to be tough seems we have no bug bait, that will earn us seven points per round, which means we'll need to participate in over 42 bug offs, catching over 200 bugs. It's going to be a bit of a grind if you hate catching bugs and you're playing alone. There is a multiplayer bonus though, if you play with friends, which will speed things up. Should you decide to play with friends and earn points quicker and you all catch between 5 and 9 bugs, you'll earn 5 bonus points. Between 10 and 14 bugs, you'll earn 7 bonus points and anything over 15, you'll earn a bonus of 10 points. So playing with friends is highly recommended if you can. Just as a side note, spending any of the points on prizes during the contest won't affect your collective total that goes towards earning a trophy. So don't worry about earning prizes and losing out on a trophy, you will get both. Now after the first contest, every entry costs 500 bells to enter. So this means you need at least 21,000 bells to hand if you're aiming for the gold trophy and playing alone. And that's assuming you don't have a bad round. So again, it's a good idea to make sure you have a bunch of bells saved up before Saturday, just in case. Entering this many contests in one day will give us lots of chances to unlock all the available prizes. However, it's not too important as there are going to be more bug offs in the future. So there's really no pressure to get all the different types of prizes in one day. The next bug off is scheduled for July the 25th. So don't worry too much about things and just enjoy the day and see how it goes. Now with every 10 points earned from catching bugs, which is probably about two rounds worth, unless you're a super bug catcher, we can exchange them with Flick for one bug themed item. So far, there seems to be 13 bug off items available. So we're now going to take a look at pretty much all the bug swag available. So please consider this your spoiler warning. If you do not want to see what prizes can be earned from exchanging bug points, and you'd rather wait to find out yourself, please leave this video now. But if you appreciate the warning, please leave a like before you do. Anyway, some of the items up for grabs during the contest include the artisanal bug cage, the bug aloha shirt, the bug cage bag, which is really neat because it looks a lot like the old school bug cages, the bug wand, the butterfly backpack, the butterfly wallpaper, the ladybug rug, the ladybug umbrella, which is kind of cute, the spider door plate, the spider's web, the termite mound, the fake toy centipede, and finally, the fake toy cockroach, which I'm sure will confuse a lot of your friends if you drop them around your island and they happen to miss the bug off. So yeah, lots of cool items to work towards along with plenty of chances to unlock them. Don't forget to take breaks though. Please don't burn yourselves out. Remember, it is an in-game event rather than a holiday. So just have fun with it. There will be a bunch more opportunities in the future to get any prizes you may miss. So have fun, enjoy the day, and let's see who can get the highest score. But what do you think about this style of bug off contest and its prizes? Do you like the look of what's available or were you hoping for something different? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Anyway, for now, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you're an Animal Crossing fan, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any New Horizons news. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters, as well as this channel's members. You guys absolutely rock and truly help me upload as regularly as I do. I couldn't do it without you. Don't forget to head over to our Discord server too, especially if you're looking for help during the bug off. And of course, if you got this far in the video, please comment Flick. Just let me know you did, that would be super awesome. And please be sure to include if you've met Flick yet, and if you're looking forward to the contest, I'd love to know. 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining. Please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.